Hey everybody, this is Qua, the dollhouse dad. Um, I just want to post a quick video to um, let you know, uh, to update you on what my progress so far with the Doug Melissa Holly Ann dollhouse build. Um, it's about day four and this is where I'm at right now. So basically I put together the, and by the way, sorry about the mess, I'll explain what it all means uh, as we move along this video. Um, so I put up the the base and then also um, I dry fitted the uh, the second floor. Um, so far I really like the build. Um, as I said at the very beginning of um, in my first video the engineering of this kit is very good. Very very good. I've had um, I haven't had any problems um, with uh, any of the construction. Uh, there weren't any warp pieces that gave me too much uh, difficulty. I mean, you know, some of the larger pieces were a little warped, uh, but, uh, you know, nothing that a nail gun or nails and glue can't solve. I mean, I didn't really have to press them out. All I did was just put them in place and glue it in place and nail in place and then it stayed there. So um, I'm pretty happy so far with the engineering and with the quality of the wood as I said before. And this is where I'm at. Um, I'm going to start painting the exterior and uh, the interior soon. Um, actually probably today. Um, the construction of the frame and the flooring and the base probably took me about four hours. Um, but what has taken me a lot of time so far is I've decided I'm going to put, and this is what the mess is all about, I am going to put um, canister lights on the bottom floor, um, like for instance the bathroom, the kitchen, and the living room, and so in order for me to do that properly, I've, I have to, um, uh, and I'm using round wires, uh, because I think they're, I, I just feel that they are uh, more uh, reliable than tape wire. Uh, the, I've used tape wire in the past, 12 years ago, and what happened was that they failed after a while, um, and they, you know, it was just too much of a pain to try to fix them. So I, I'm hoping that round wires, properly soldered, uh, will solve my problem. You know, the, the, of course the problem with round wires is that I have to cut channels to, uh, to um, uh, make sure that they are flush with the floor and that's what I've been doing, that's what's been taking all my time is that you see that, um, you know, I've had to cut channels to where the wires are um, and I'll take out a piece of tape. Here's the channel. And note to myself is next time use a smaller gauge wire so I don't need to make the channel so deep. Um, I think I, I, um, the wires I used were too heavy. Um, they were the small, they were the smallest wires I could find on quick notice, but I think if I looked around some more, I can probably find some smaller gauge wires. But anyway, um, not a huge deal. It all works out to be the same, um, but it just created more work for myself uh, by using too gauge, too heavy of a gauge wire. I know that um, this is a crazy idea to put um, lights uh, using uh, using um, round wires, but uh, you know what? I just wanted to make this dollhouse as awesome as possible for my daughter. And I want it to be um, something that is going to be an heirloom piece for her and that she will use and enjoy for, for a long, long time. And so here's, here's um, what it's going to be all about. Um, you know, I got a little switch here and there you go. And it's, I think that um, it's all going to be worth it. These are canister lights. This is the porch, the front porch. And so it's going to be lit with... Um, miniature canister lights and actually they're LEDs that um, that I uh, took from from flashlights and so this is going to be a switch to 
have to go have them on and off. And basically, my plan is to have every single room wired um, on the bottom floor with canister lights um, and have switches for them uh, so that uh, you can operate the lights independently. And I also have a second system where I'm using tape wire for, like, for instance, the lamps, the table lamps, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and so this, the, the electrical engineering or, or system this house is, I'm, I'm planning to be very advanced. So anyway, um, my suggestion with building this kit, and it, it's not that hard. It really didn't take me that long to build. But um, if you have access to a Brad gun, a Brad nailer gun, it's going to make your life so much easier. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why, um, let me show you what I used, if I can keep this steady, so, one of these bad boys, okay, if you got one of these guys, um, then your life is going to be much easier, because um, the, uh, if you try to tap in these, these nails, uh, for instance, like, you know, you, you have to put these two angles together and if you were trying to put this nail this in it would be extremely difficult I mean you, you can do it but it's not going to be easy so if you had a brad nailer all you have to do is just you know it'll take you like a millisecond to get it done um, and so anyway um, this is where I'm at so far I'm planning to paint it and um, and also to uh, start um, putting the uh, first wall pairing wallpaper in the first floor. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, this is Kwa, the dollhouse dad, um, having a great time building this dollhouse. Thanks for watching.